honestly, funny enough, so like last night, uh, D1, EE, like a group of us, we got together, we all started talking about our tier lists. And I, I look at them, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna give you a hot take right now. I think number 10 could possibly be stroke. And they all were just, I can actually they all start nodded at it. me. They were like, you know, and I go, maybe not right now. Result wise, it's not there. Yeah. But I wanna give it a few months. I just thought I sucked for Shulk. I'm like, yeah, I get three stock. He's stock. a good character. And now I'm looking at him. He's got things that if you don't know, like, you're gonna get bamboozled. He's got big Whoa. stuff. So. Props to him. Props to more character diversity. And speaking of character diversity, our last match of the day on this stream is Shoyo Dings versus Sinji. Shoyo, potentially the best crop at this point, and Sinji, one of the best Pac-Men, Pac if you will, in the world. Tricky gameplay from both sides. Shoyo's got some very, very incredibly impressive strings with Krom. Moves at <laughs> lightning pace, and Sinji likes to have these mix-ups. Tricky play, especially using Pac-Man's uh, Fruit move? Three, or what's it called? Two, There's a bunch one. of fruit he has. Yeah, all, any fruit. <laughs> so we're going to see. He's the last Pac-Man remaining in bracket. And of course, show your name the last Krom in bracket remaining. Alright, and this, the thing about um, Shoyo James too is that he's also a very explosive player. Once he gets the lead, like he will carry on that momentum and uh, actually a Krom just dealing so much damage. Right. Very vital. But since he's doing a really good job at also mixing up when he could get back on stage with something that he's actually known for as well. I don't think we talk about it enough, but I think Pac-Man's recovery is incredible. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, like... And, and the fact that he can mix it up with side B too. And the side B goes from like literally as deep as you want, like the bottom of Hyrule Temple, all the way up. Like side B also like goes a lot further than what it seems like, so the hitbox is actually active like further than what yeah, it looks. Yeah, it's deceptive. All right, there, there's the key. Major key, can you get it? Well, I like the patience right here, and Shoyo actually yeah. just respecting Sinji. Again, like, this is not an unknown matchup for Shoyo or for Shinji. But it's so tricky to deal with. Okay, Nair, fair. One more deep one, could do it. Ooh, try to go for the spike. Whoa! Oh, do not air dodge towards Krom like that, especially by the way. Shoyo's, a, Shoyo's like burst, right? He just bursts in and he goes in that far, no matter what percent he's at. He, like, he, didn't, he didn't get a hit until he was at 100%. Okay. Oh, he tried to contest the fire hydrant with a downer, so that way it would be actually his fire hydrant and right. hit uh, Sinji instead. I like the patience, though. Shoyo is usually an aggressive player, just playing this matchup very patient, which he definitely should, especially against a character like Pac-Man. Can I just have to wait it out? He has the bell ready for right. him, and oh my god. Oh. You saw, yep, the water spitting out the paralyzer. Just when I think I know Pac-Man, he's always got new tricks up his sleeve. Oh, yeah. Shoyo keeping his stock, though. Jab, forward tilt. Oh, try to two frame with the neutral B. Oh, that's so much though. damage. Waiting for Sinji to commit to an option there. Oh, oh my! The air dodge into him again. Joy ready Shoy. for him with the forward smash. He's in his head. All right, but we got them up there coming out. The apple not gonna do it, although the apple for landing would definitely kill them. But nonetheless, Sinji still finds a stock for him. Shoyo just is, more than any player, so good at reads. So good at calling out what your recovery or what your, you know, nervous habits are going to be. Nice grab. Now, either way, depending on whoever wins this game, like whether it be Pac-Man or Krom, having either of these characters in top 8 is super hype. Yeah. And of course, Krom and Roy, that jab is such a great opener for the combo. Comes out really quick too. Missing the chase down. Oh, contesting him with a down air, I really like that approach actually. Okay. Oh, but getting stuck in lag from that grab, option to go for the air dodge into the stage. Does He's not want to contest him off stage like that. So smart. He just jumps up with him, doesn't do anything, waits for the air dodge, and then attacks. Because you want to air dodge with Sprung. Right. It's scary. Yeah, he's waiting right here. Uh, the fire hydrant setup. Of course, we saw what that water does. Yeah, he's Great being. Patience. He's also being very respectful of the hydrant. Usually, you can hit the hydrant back at Pac-Man, um, but I think Shoyo James is happy, especially with the stock. Oh, Ooh. instead, you know why? Because he wants to use the hydrant for his ah! for his bloody self. <laughs> Dude, he was that shield was tiny. Okay, back throw again. They're okay. Now he's in the hydrant. Oh, jumping I, right I above Sinji. Yeah. yeah, falling on him with the up air. Oh, that's going to kill. Uh, especially with the flash throwing him back there, too. There's always a joke that if you could grab a Pac-Man, it should be a zero death because of how <laughs> bad his grab is. Thank God, that's not the case. That was uh, 
No, I'll play cool. The city trying to go for a comeback here. There, okay, starting up there with little Galaga. Okay, wow, 56 already. And then Shoyo's just trying to finish it with two strong hits. 125 right here. Can he get the read? Oh, he's gonna go for a down air. Oh. Barely missing. Oh yeah, he almost tried to keep it. And that's it. The bear coming out, and yep, that is definitely gonna be it. Chrome looks like so much fun to play. I wanna play Chrome. <laughs> it, he hits so hard. I wanna he's play so Chrome. fast. He really is. And it looks he like great air speed. Looks like Wadi made an upset. I believe Wadi is in top eight. I'll take the bracket. He three owed someone. Well, because there is another stream going on too, so that's another high thing going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop the battle. Same two, same characters. You already know. If it works the first time, do it again. Right, I, actually, I think uh, this is the last match of the day. I think the other stream is finished. The crowd seems to be moving over here to see who will get the last Go. spot. That was in this top eight. Oh, I'm sorry, Wadi lost. Never mind. I saw him at the interview table. Please, I'm sorry, Fair to up Fair to up air, to up air yeah. Dealing so much damage already, too. Look at the patience up from Shoyo using that up B out of shield. And that up out of shield, it works to kill, it works as a recovery. But up out of shield specifically, it's a really good re reset the neutral, getting out of a hairy situation. Especially since his hit so hard, too. You don't want to contest him off stage, right. especially when you know that he's capable of coming back with that. I like seeing players take advantage of like, the wavelengths in this game. Right there, you saw Sh you know, Show Your James went in, wavelength back, and got a free kill from him. Free hit from him. Catching, actually, the Gallagher right there. Oh! And using the up smash? Okay. Show your James looking like he's on fire right here. He has, he has not a care in the world. A lot of percent right there from those two. Great pivot grab, dashing back. And that downer, I've seen a lot of time with you. That's a kill move. Oh, yeah. Pretty reliable one, too. Sets him pretty high up. And like I said, Pac-Man can recover from as deep as you want. See how he tries to actually just grab him by the ledge like that? He actually scoops people up by the ledge, too. So the he's just waiting for this invincibility to run out. Right. The fact that Crump's up air goes around his body and then hits the left, his ladder side afterwards is actually a really good poke to it. Oh, oh that should be it. Right yeah. into it. Yep. That's so done to you. Taking advantage of that situation, though, and taking out Shoyo's dog. Pac-Man has one of the strongest forward in the game. Strongest Smash moves in general. All right. Hydrant eating that shield, and now got a little string going on. Fair to Nair. Always safe. Pac-Man to approach with. But Shoyo just missing his forward air. And an up air. And the up piece. So much armor on it. Yeah, it's the get off the option. But going in for a second time. Okay. Strawberry hitting him, though. Strawberry fields. Yeah, it does about, like, 6% only, so... Oh, hard to go just over his head. Oh, he's just jumping around the fire hydrant, getting rid of that. Yeah, that's 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 the show you're taking yeah, right there. Yeah, Ritzel's a backer. Jab, raw backer. Yeah, jab. This is actually intense. He does that really well too. He's been getting it really consistently, especially by the ledge. Okay, fair down tilt. Up air into backer once again here. Yeah, he's he's looking like it, this, you know. Oh, that still misses. He's <laughs> he's also a three stock jab. ahead too, so yeah. if you wanted to go off stage, yeah, you could definitely do that. You could flex a little if you wanted to right here. In fact, I recommend the flex. Okay, missing that important bell. Show you his thing so grounded. I love how he's playing. Here. Downer through the hydrant. Well, yeah, Downer actually just completely ignoring the hydrant, and the hydrant is standing stationary too. Well, what happens if he counters the hydrant when it comes down? He can definitely do it. You just have to predict when Sitch is going to throw it every time he jumps. So intimidating for Shoyo Jinx to be on the ledge right there. Why are you trying to knock on? There's Hydra once again. Call out! Well, I, I love the patience too. Notice he just stays in place. Yeah. Tries to see what Sinji was going to do right there after the Hydra. Imagine the call out up smash right there. <laughs> yeah, another up smash on the shield like he did before. Fair, and right now Shoyo Jinx one hit away from getting the tool lead yeah. drop Locked down, down back, back here. here. James, you madman. Do you know who James lost to? Uh, I haven't checked the draw here, but either way. James has always been such a solid player. Though. I'm not even surprised yeah. that he's so far here. I, I really enjoy watching his crumb play. And Sinji finding himself down 2-0. He's, he's got the Pac-Man shirt and everything. He needs to make something a little, a little more happen here. I don't think he has a secondary in this case. Oh my god, what is that? That was loud as it's, heck. Yeah, it's, it's either oh, a volcano outside the venue. A volcano? <laughs> 
What's the pick here? Important stage pick, Sinji. Tends to show his last game of the whole tournament. So he lost to Samsora, a 3-0 uh, Samsora. Decent loss. So actually not even surprised, but I feel like that matchup could be very tricky. Especially for Krom when they're off stage. Back to Krom, back to Pac-Man. Unless he switches, I'll be surprised. Oh no, there we go. Sinji will always stay with the Pac-Man. Alrighty. Game three, potentially last game of the whole stream. Waiting in here once again. Our potentially last game, too, by the way. Could Shoyo be the, one of the last contestants to make his way to top eight here? He could. All right, down throw Nair fair. Yeah. Close top range throw. grab is good there, yeah. At least his grab is a lot better in this game. We'll he, need, he needs something. Yeah. It's not a dead zone as much, at least. Goes off stage. I like how he's not contesting Sinji. Oh, no, that, that was killed? That was insane. Shoyu's finding these stocks so quickly. It just the kill power. The knockback that Krom yeah. has is actually really good. Cool. Like when I see the jab, I'm like, okay, jab to forward, forward, but it's like, no, no jab to straight forward to match. Keep it simple. Why overcomplicated? And right here at zero. If you get, if you, if, if Shoyu's name lands a falling upper at zero, he can make so much happen with it. Oh, you saw he actually just tried to do a rising up there. Oh, and not getting hit by the valley. He was not going to get paralyzed by the ledge there, as Sinji oh. was looking for. Oh, he grabbed oh, the air dodge up, too. Get your own vitamin C right here. <laughs> fair to fair. It's a fair. Two frame? Oh, my gosh. He still hasn't gotten a two frame or a spike, but I feel like this... I have a feeling this is going to end with one. Oh! Oh, that didn't kill. Yeah, I know. That's quite unfortunate. Looks like you got the sweet spot there. That's gonna kill. The yeet back though. Yeet. Down to once again, Hydrant. Well, he throws the Galica towards the wall so that way he can re grab it. Clever. Big brain stuff. Yeah, big brain stuff. We got some loops though. We got some Galica loops though. Okay. This is the first time I've ever seen Pac Man up to in my life. A weird little fist. Oh, well, he has the key ready too. Yep. I think the bell he has. Krom's got that strong sword, but he's got a key. Oh, it is a key, you're he's right! He's got the key to the city here. All right. Now Sinji looking like a new man after the first two games. He's trying to make his own lead happen here. The lowest recovery. Oh, wow. oh, 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 it's true! I yeah, won it. Yeah, he actually did that. But Sinji recognized that, and he just rolled away. He's like, no, nah, I'm not about this. The Hydra is one of some of the most unique move in the game. Like, it, it creates, obviously it hurts you offensively, but it's one of the few moves ever that creates a barrier between right, you where you're space. forced to jump. You cannot run through it. Oh my god. Basically like crowd control in a sense. Ooh, I like the side B use right here. You can see you're how it goes so far. Oh! <coughs> oh my you're god. You're a nut. You are a almond. Okay, but we're oh. talking about Pac-Man recovery though. He came in it back every single time. Okay, still not finding the kill. Up there, staying alive, 137. Yeah, Hannah such a good job this game. Not gonna get paralyzed, holding shield instead. Tries to fall on the shield with up air. Oh, he tries to go for the ledge jump right there. Sinji though, inputting in so that way he does not get ledge jump. Oh, oh hold on. When, when your own when your own hydrant just ends up taking the stuff for you. Wait one second, what are you what's this man doing? Oh, yeah, the Hydra was one hit away from being uh, sent off like that, and that's Game four. Hit. All right, he's fighting back. I like that. Three O's. Three O's, sure, it ends quicker, but I, I like a fight. Both sides. Oh, yeah, yeah, most definitely. I mean, especially with Pac-Man, these two characters are great to watch. Very explosive coming from Shoyo James's part, but Sinji making that comeback. I feel like once he got that Galaga, like, combo, that's when he was able to, like, change the entire momentum of the game in his favor. And I like the fact that he, like, Waited. He meditated a little bit before going right back into the set. He was good though. Stop things out right now. So you I feel like if anything, I feel like he his uh, edge guards weren't as strong as we saw in the first two games of the set so far. Mm -hmm. Like he doesn't also want to contest Sinji, as you saw. Like his recovery is so good, so even even if you contest him, you're really risking more than you know you're gonna award. So yeah, I feel that. Interesting. That he wants to down to the Hydra and sort of make his own offensive approach happen. Oh, okay, oh, but wow. these platforms are really allowing Sinji to get away with so much. And so just, he woke up a little bit too. He's like, you're not gonna fair me. My neck comes up right there. Wow, great string. Oh, he's a fire hydrant actually just hitting the fruit. 
Jab. Reaching, scooping him up by the ledge like that. Wow, Sinji so just coming in with an aggressive option. That, that's why I feel like Soyo wasn't hitting the Hydrant that much at, at the beginning. And I feel like it's just because Sinji's just waiting for that first hit, so that way Sinji can capitalize off of that. Ooh! Wow, Sinji getting a lead now. Different man. Alright, not scooping him up though. No two frame here. I like the patience though coming from Shoyo. He's just waiting. I feel like Sinji though at this point is just playing patient enough to just call it out and just kind of roll in there between yeah. the hits. Uh, I'm pretty sure for, in, terms of, in terms of natural performance, this will be Sinji's best performance in the next top eight. By far. Ooh, oh, back wow, air. Not, back air. not, not gonna, gonna be it. We DI those out here. Oh, and avoiding that, using the fire hydrant to elevate him just ever so slightly. Wait one second. Oh, he's gonna dash back. He wants a forward smash. <laughs> okay, no grab from Fifty there, which I thought was kind of surprising. He could also be baiting out the roll too, just throwing out the jabs and then just trying to see what he would do mm. if he goes back. Missed both those aerials. Back here. Okay, Hydra on the shield. And then up here to come down. But we live in though. Yeah, any any hit right now should go back, man. Got them heavy shoes on Pac-Man right here. Almost 200%. Like, we talk about City's adaptation between games like 1 and 2 and this. Oh, yeah. Super more effective now. Finding way more grabs. And he's not letting Krom's heavy, intense arrow party intimidate him. I feel like, if anything, like, just playing by the ledges has helped us Sinji so much. And I feel like Shoyo's also getting a little empty and trying to, like, throw in hits as well. He's slowing it down for the most part now. And Shoyo James very cognizant that, you know, Crumb's recovery is very, very vertical. Oh! Oh, he called out the roll. I That's why I feel like. I feel like he's low positioning him to roll onto the stage. I got so scared. Like, I, I, like right there, I, he was like, okay, I'm just going to wait for you to get onto the ledge here instead. Oh, oh that's... Getting hit by the Paralyzer, yep. Not quite yet, oh, but, the, but oh. the orange, too much vitamin C, man. Yeah, have a little bit of health on your side. Okay, what's the option here? Sinji's look, doing his best to push the game five. Another stock lead. Oh, the orange, of course, going in a straight <laughs> line and just going right through the fire hydrant. Six jabs. Oh, calling out that tech roll back. And that's it. All right, Shoyo James wants to close it out right here. Meanwhile, Sinji... He proved he can do it in game three. Same situation as last time, just needs to not get these big hits from Krom and use that bell to get those early kills. And that melon actually kind of went up a little Ooh, bit too. A lot oh, of damage. Okay, we got that damage out here. Oh no! Oh, no, it doesn't even matter, Ooh. but Ooh. Oh, I was like, he did even did, is the paint gonna work? <laughs> I got really scared. Oh he got into really him. I got really scared. Woo. Oh that, that was that was some careful spun if I've ever seen it. And the oh. fire hydrant! Will that be it? Are you gonna be able to capitalize off Sinji! of this? Sinji! Oh, 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 whoa, 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 that was a heart attack coming out from both those players. So Sinji got that tech. He was ready for that counter. Oh, jeez. Hard to call. Ooh, did you see how fast that bell got sent out? It literally disappeared. Oh, my goodness. The bell! Oh, he's dead. Game he's five! Dead. He's dead. Game five. The crowd comes alive for Sinji. Another reverse 3-0? That, that edge guard for Shoyo at the very end there was really what he needed. The moment that counter was not the tool that ended everything, Sinji was like, I'm in this. Let me tell you what's game five so far. Tweak versus Ally, game five. The Buzz versus Salem, game five. Sinji versus Shoya Dame, game five. And I'm pretty sure we saw one more game five that I can't name. They've been everywhere. We are swinging tonight. That's how you know that these competitors are literally coming in, just swinging I and mean, giving everything that they got. Like, again, this is for the last top eight slot for tomorrow's top eight here at Mobocon. Yep. 2019. Last match, last game of the last match of the night. Chat one for Sinji, two for Shoyo James. Who's going to finish out our top eight for tomorrow going to town and city? Pac Man Krom. What a matchup. Okay, he, he's, ans yeah, he's answering an early forward air, but Sinji finding really good combos every time he misses. Only oh, catching the neutral get up with a down here, too. Thing. And I like the fact that he's using the hydrant on the ledge to give him time to charge up his fruit. Yeah. He was doing that a lot that last game, too. 
Ooh, shielding in place. What's the option? Is that a kill? Sinji! Oh, Sinji is on a roll right now. Momentum all in his favor. Not only a comeback reverse 3-0, but the best he's opened a match thus far. Oh, but look at these uppers coming out from Shoyo, adding in that extra percent. I mean, if there's one character that does not struggle on killing, and it's definitely Krom. Oh it's definitely Krom. He just bodied him back. Oh, the fair coming out using that platform to help him stand on that. They are. This is high octane. Oh, we got them <laughs> extensions. We got them extensions. They, it's 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 really both players playing at their peak right here. It's, it's fascinating to watch. Fair, trying up the fruit, waiting for the orange. The orange has done really well from so far. Oh my god, that shield went tiny. This is such a close game right now. Literally last game here. He's waiting. One more second. Oh, oh he ends up being the last one to hit the fire hydrant towards Shoyo. He whiffed the grab. So okay, there we go. It. The classic Shoyo thing's falling up air. Easy 20% anytime he gets it. Oh, hitting the apple right in front of him too. Oh, back airy through the fire hydrant. Careful! Just aerial through everything. Oh, there's a bell! Oh, don't let go of shield. Okay, going way down. He has a bell in place. This will kill if he lands it. What's the setup? Cindy putting New York on the map. He's just being so patient right now. He gets finally hit by the fire hydrant. Oh, Dare on the shield. Last hit. Not quite going to eat through. He goes up. A jab, but he answers his own Nair. Oh, reflects oh. the shield. What's the he regrabs it. He regrabs the it. The rebound. Oof. Oh. Oh my oh, god! Oh, dude, he got it again! The rebound! Oh, he oh my got it. god! That's the third re-grab! Oh, Sinji! The triple double! Where are we waiting for? Oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh. oh, the air dodge in was such a smart move for Sinji, though. He does not want to get hit by another back air. How poetic would it be right now? Last game, last stock. But Sinji might just go for a two stock. He's not being hit right now. Shoyo James was up 2 0. Oh. Now he's losing! And this is it! This is the last stock! Up. He gets it. He oh. gets the back air finally. Game five. Ledge Trump. Oh, got the Galaga, the entire crowd holding their breath right now. We know what happens every time Sinji lets go of that Galaga. Oh. Soyo, instead of retaliating with a fair that as we've been seeing before, he actually just opts to roll back. The dare, one hit, hit, got it, and the fire hydrant, 65. Not a scratch on Sinji's last stock so far. Galaga! But Sinji dropping, I'm sorry, Soyo just dropping his own combo. He broke out of the grab. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine a spike? He's coming back. 39. Oh, he's coming back. He 53. Oh, oh, back the in. backer contesting. Ah! No way. Oh no, my no, lord, no Sinji. Back throw. What's the option here? Hitting it again. Oh, the bell. So hype. The bell. Oh, he's going the through sword. it. The sword just actually hit oh, right through the bell. He clanked with it. Oh my god, don't go deep. Oh, Sinji. He has the other there. Oh. He just dashes back. He ah! The bell! Sinji! The bell! Allowing Sinji to get back into oh. this top eight! Oh! Soil James, game five! Oh my! Oh! <laughs> I can't do this anymore, dude. Smash I Ultimate. Bless up. Pac Man in top eight, by the way. Pac Man in top eight. Oh. I was saying Sinji's the best Pac Man in the US, man. Dude, how many reverse 3 0s I'm are we gonna just get? saying right here, y'all. Oh. A reverse 3 0 oh. versus Shoyo James <laughs> in the most poetic way, I would say. That bell actually allowing him to close out basically every <laughs> single one of those stocks. I'm so done, dude. I apologize for the screaming, but that was. I lost my mind. To come back that far, and now Sinji's in top eight of Momocon. Against Shoyo James? This top eight is actually so hype. We, I, I, all right, so you guys better tell Salem to go Shulk, by the way, so that way we can have a Shulk and a Pac-Man in top eight. Like, this is ultimate at its finest right now. I'm just so happy, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to it's, MoboCon it, it's been, 2019. It's, it's been godlike. I really do think... So what's the top eight we have now? It's MK Leo on one side, Tweak on the other side. Uh, we got Sinji, winners? we got Salem. Oh, oh, we mean in winners only because there was another stream as well. But it's just been so hype overall, like what's been going on here. Let's go look at the Yeah, I'm trying to see. Show your James respectable you right ninth now. place. The Buzz, ninth place. Um, oh, Salem, he's in losers, that's right. Yeah, he Salem won. is in losers as well. Is Ally still in? We got Void, we got Tweak, we got Mars, MK Leo, we got Nairo, Samsora, and oh, Void's Salem in winners, right? Sinji. Void is in winners. Yes, Void, Tweak, and Mars, and MK Leo are all in winners. And then in loser's bracket, we got Nairo, Samsora, Salem, and Sinji. 
sitting down and waiting for tomorrow as to good, compete. As good of a top eight as you could ask for. Everyone, if you enjoyed Momocon so far, please press M in the chat. Of course, there will be more action tomorrow. Not to any action, I believe at noon, we have our top eight for Smash Ultimate 10K on the line. Incredible tournament so far. And I'll actually be uh, emceeing top eight. Oh, let's freaking go, Hbox! I got my mic on the stage. If I don't hear any SpongeBob references, you're fired. Le le <laughs> less screaming, more talking. But I mean, that's going to be hype it, either way. It, it'll be good. So you guys, make sure to tune in to top eight tomorrow at Momocon 2019 because these sets are just starting. If you guys enjoyed today, it's only going to get crazier from here. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Have a good one.